Hi everyone, I'm Frank Salem uh, from Genetic Australia and I have with me the great Dr. Elstein. I say great because you are truly great. You're so different to all the doctors I've known. When, when someone comes to see you, they, you look at the way they're digesting, the way they're eating and, uh, and then you, you start working out a plan on how to approach their treatment. Can you tell me a bit about how our health affects our sexual yes. sexuality and drive? Well, so sex drive and, se and, and, and then enjoying sex is really about two things for me. It's about the drive or the libido yes. uh, and the desire in the mind to, to have sex. Yes. And then it's about a body which is capable of good sexual function. Hmm. So, so that's where hormones come in because for men, the hormone testosterone drives uh, libido or sexual desire and to a certain extent it also drives sexual function. So there's an almost epidemic of men who have sexual dysfunction. And so that can be erectile dysfunction where they, they, don't, they can't get proper erections or they can't sustain their erections. A lot of men have that problem. Or they simply don't even have the drive or desire to have sex. Right. So that's when we need to look at uh, a few things. Firstly, are they getting enough testosterone? Yes. And is their testosterone working for them? And, and the biggest problem unfortunately men are facing is, is putting on weight. So we have the huge amount of men who are overweight. And men don't have to worry as much about weight gain as women do. Women have to have, women have, to have the perfect body, if we're gonna make it very simple. Yes. And men yeah. have to have the perfect <laughs> bank account. And that, that's, that's, that's the marriage, you see. Yeah. So I don't have to worry if I'm fat or if I'm ugly, yeah. as long as I've got a lot of money in the bank. Unfortunately, women have to worry about, are they beautiful? Yeah. Because then you get them, you get you get the man of your dreams, and you get the man you can procreate with to have perfect babies, mm. and we, that's what we have. We want to have perfect babies. Yes. So men need testosterone, and when they are overweight, their their fat cells, the, all this fat that they're carrying around, compromises testosterone. Right. So they don't need to take testosterone; they need to lose weight. Yes. And men don't men aren't necessarily concerned about that, but they become more concerned. They they, they need to be aware of it because it's compromising their sexual function and limiting or reducing the power of their testosterone. And so you see a lot of men who have got boobs, they look like women, yes. because they're overweight, they're making too much estrogen. Too much That's why they have boobs. Right. But the estrogen is what reduces testosterone. So before men take testosterone, they need to lose weight and look after themselves better yes. and, and, and exercise. And so that optimizes testosterone function in men. Right. In women, they, they also need testosterone because that also is, is important for sex drive. But women also need other hormones like estrogen yes. and DHEA and progesterone and, and testosterone. All those hormones factor into sexual function. So if the hormones are out of balance or if women have things compromising hormones like a, a poor diet or they're stressed or they have what's called inflammation, Inflammation means they have part of their immune system which has become overactive yes. because of food allergy or food intolerance or other causes. Yes. Then that's going to affect their hormones. So they don't necessarily need to take hormones. They need to ensure that their body is making the right amounts and in balance and that will help with, with sexual function in yes. women. So all those things need to be looked at when you have sexual dysfunction. Right. Are your hormones working for you and are there things that are compromising the amount of hormones your body actually makes? And there, weight gain is the biggest one that compromises hormones. I was going to say, are there any signs that, uh, uh, first signs that you can see that something is changing uh, sexually? Well, men men notice that their libidos and their say erectile dysfunction. Okay, so that's and easy. And there are lots of clinics now which offer men all sorts of Viagra, for instance. Well, Viagra or drugs or, or yes. men's sexual health clinics which offer them all sorts of but drugs. That's just and women need to look at all their hormones. Are they making enough testosterone? Are they making enough estrogen? Are they making enough progesterone, DHEA? Yes. And are those hormones working for them? Are there things that happen in your what body are the which are compromising hormone function? So if they don't have enough estrogen, they can be very dry, dry. Uh, wrinkled. Yes. Um, they don't have a good mood. They can be low in mood, can be a bit depressed, right. anxious. Right. Those are all signs that they lack estrogen. Right. If they lack progesterone, they might not be sleeping very well, become very irritable, not okay. calm, don't, don't have a good night's rest. Okay. Lacking testosterone, they can have very uh, lack muscle, they lack muscle tone, yes. lack sex drive, yes. uh, they can have weakened bones. Yes. Uh, those things can lead, can be associated with too much testosterone, uh, too little testosterone, excuse me. Yes. And then uh, thyroid hormone also is quite important. And so if you don't have enough thyroid hormone, you can be low in energy. 
have really dry skin, cold, cold extremities, right. cold hands, cold feet, everything slows down, you yes. become constipated. Yes. So you need to look at all those hormones because women are more complicated than men. Men are turned on much more easily than women are. Right. So women need a whole symphony of things, a uh, mind thing, it's a hormone yes. thing. Right. And so we need to look at, are those things compromised in women? Mm. and do tests to see what is right. compromising their hormones. Is there something that nature has uh, planned for us as we become older? As nature as wants to get rid of us. Man. As our sexuality. Nature actually yes. wants to get rid of us. It wants to get rid now, of us. Now nature says, once you're procreated, uh, you know, you, you're going to... You're, you're, you're passed on your genes. But we're the baby boomers, so now we are the generation that doesn't want to age. All of us want to stay healthy as young for as long as we can. So we're taking all these hormones and antioxidants and vitamins right. to keep us feeling as young as possible for as long as possible. Yes. But but there's a lot we don't understand. Mm. So there's a lot we don't know. We don't really know what causes the body to age. If we knew, we could reverse it and yes. prevent it, but we don't know. That's fascinating. Uh, yes. Again, uh, a fascinating subject. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Have you got more to you like to add to this? Uh, well, look, I'm, I'm, sex look drive? can I just say that I've yes. written books on this, uh, which are e-books, yes. all available on my website. My website's yes. called eternalhealth.org, eternalhealth.org. Yes. So I have e-books which go through this in more detail, yeah. all available through my website. Thank Very you so much. Thanks Thank for having you. me, Frank. It's my pleasure. It's been a lot of Thank fun. You. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Thanks, Frank. Yeah.